I've been meaning to uh, make this for quite a while now, but uh, just fucking life things have been happening, so I apologize for that. But anyway, that's not important. What is important is I'm finally going to explain how cinematic supers work. And in essence, it can all be based around this simple idea. Player 1 inputs command, initiates attack. If the move hits, go to state whatever and put enemy in state whatever. Uh, this is done simply by... If we go into the code. Here we go. So, in hit deaths, which means hit definition, so this is how you, like, do attacks. I, I assume you probably know that by now. Anyway, uh, ID equals if else win KO 0 or 2190. So what happens is you assign this hit definition a number depending on if the opponent is dead or not. If they're dead, it's 0, so nothing. If they're not, 2190. So... Here we go. State 802. This does that doesn't matter. It could be whatever the fuck. It literally does not affect it at all. Uh, target. So this is for your opponent. Type equals target state. Target state is interesting because the value you give uses the information from your character. So when I say target state, send them to 2191. It's sending them to your 2191. And in this case, this is, uh, you know, just whatever the fuck you want to happen to your opponent. So, you know, set the position or velocities or whatever you want to do. Uh, okay, simple enough. It checks if the target is not a helper, and num target exists. So, the reason for that is in case you use, like, a helper or whatever the fuck with the same number. Uh, I tend to not do that, but it's whatever, I don't, I don't care. Anyway, so... If that ID is true and move hit, send them here. So it's checking for whether this hit definition in particular, whether or not it collided. If it hit the opponent, send them to whatever the fuck. Ignore hit pause just for consistency. And then change state. So it's the same sort of thing, but instead you're sent to 2195. If these don't happen, then they just run like normal and you keep going down. So, it's whatever. It's basically just that, but a bunch of, like, fancy shit. So, for whatever you want to do in particular. But the main idea between cinematic supers is this. These are the primary things you will write. Uh, you can have them be for whatever condition. So, like, for instance, uh, I have it so during the fucking Kamehameha... When the fucking... I set a variable, and then when it equals zero, then I have the fucking... the target state activator or whatever. But, more or less, this is just the general idea of what you're doing. I, ex I, I encourage you to code these yourself, honestly, because, like, they're really... It's really interesting learning, because that's what I did. Um, I basically just looked up code um, as to how they, like, define targets... And all that, and I just sort of ran wild with that. Uh, anyway, I hope you found this at all useful, and uh, I wish you the best of luck. If you have any questions, I'll try my best to answer them. Have a good day.